If human curiosity once caused imprisonment in cages, our ingenuity now lets us capture fabulous images on film. You can taste the wild without even leaving your living room. Yes, it's far better to look through the camera's eye and let the animals roam free. And we get animals to do the strangest things. In India, this parrot selects an envelope. The fortune teller then reads its contents to his customer. From a bird's beak, a peek into the future. But now an attempt to peek into the past. There are some famous inhabitants on the rock of Gibraltar and no one's exactly sure where they came from. Guarding the entrance to the Mediterranean, this busy port could hardly be more strategically placed. For the ancients, it was the end of the known world, and it's a prize many countries have fought to possess. The Moors, who came over from Africa just 30 kilometers away, held it for 700 years. Queen Isabella then annexed it to Spain, although the Moorish influence remains strong. The British took it in 1704. It eventually became a British crown colony, now self-governing, and its long history as a fortress is everywhere. Even though the British still hold it today, there's another army that has ruled the rock for thousands of years, Barbary apes. Perched high above the harbour, it's the Barbary apes that are the subject of a far-flung investigation. They're the only wild primates in the whole of Europe. And, curiously enough, no one knows exactly where they came from. They're not actually apes at all, but macaques. They're also found in Algeria and Morocco. But how did they get here? Did they walk over a now lost land bridge? Were they brought across by the Moors? Or are they the remnants of a European population that once flourished more widely? Are they natives or aliens? They're at home on the ground and in the trees, and on the roofs of our cars. They live and play together in troops of varying size, and, like all macaques, are highly intelligent. In North Africa, troops of wild macaques descend from the mountains to feed on crops. Here, they descend on the tourists and have perfected the art of scrounging a snack. They seem to have no fear of us or any inhibitions when it comes to eating our food. And it's this boldness that scientists studying the macaques can exploit. To capture them, all they have to do is throw some food into the open back of a vehicle. The ape's appetite for junk food does the rest. A jerk on the cord and the trap is sprung. The ape, not harmed in any way, will now be taken to the laboratory where various samples will be obtained but not before it's given a mild anaesthetic by Eric Shaw, the head biologist at the Gibraltar Ornithological and Natural History Society. From a few strands of hair, a genetic fingerprint can be produced. And this can be checked against DNA taken from macaques in Algeria and Morocco. A small patch on each leg is shaved, and then a letter and an identifying number are tattooed on. Another identification aid to help researchers in the field is a dot tattooed over the ape's eye. A dot over the right eye means it's a male, over the left, a female, like this one. 